the Art of Hitting channel. Today we have a piece for you that's going to be talking about what is the art of hitting and how do you define the art of hitting. In the realm of slow pitch softball, there exists a singular pursuit that transcends the technique, style, and even the individuality. The quest to achieve an average over 750 per tournament. This sacred benchmark, the pinnacle of hitting prowess, is the hallmark of a true artist on the field. While each player may wield their bat with a unique flair, it is the mastery of the timing, technique, and technology, the three T's of hitting, if you will, that ultimately unlock the gateway of hitting greatness. Join us as we delve into the heart of hitting, where players strive to carve their own path to protect perfection while embracing the timeless principles that define the sport and we call that the art of hitting let me explain a little more this thing i want to do is start off with the greatest hitter home run hitter of all times uh, uh babe ruth uh and this is just to uh, uh clarify there are similarities between baseball and softball in the hitting so let's look at that, and let's look at Babe. Then we're going to look at Babe compared to Mike Masenko. So is it? This is a special game, huh? You yeah. know, all the great players in this one moment. Why is Babe Ruth still the home run king? Well, here's why. I take a look at how hard he's swinging. My goodness. Well, he's got to get it rolling too. I, I think about you know that heavy bat. He's got to get it started soon. Yeah, you're talking about 50 ounces. That means you got to do a lot of things to get that trigger going and and get it moving through the zone. But he does some things. You really got to slow these guys down to look and see mechanically how sound they actually are. And, and the thing I, I think about watching both these guys, we get into them later, is they do so many things that instructors today would say, no way, don't do it. So hopefully by the time we're done with these Ruth, guys, we'll one of the greatest home run hitters in baseball, and now uh, we're comparing him with uh, Mike Masenko, the, the uh, legendary home run hitter of all times in slow pitch softball. Now, Bogey put this together met several years ago, did a great job. Bogey knows his stuff. Uh, and you can see that uh, both uh, Babe and, and Mike have very similar. Look at that. Look at that. You can't hardly tell the difference. You know, and, and there's difference in age. Mike was younger when Babe was swinging in that picture. You know, but look, look. So there are similarities in baseball, but you don't have to follow. The, there, there, there are um, certain things you must do in baseball because you got anywhere from a 90 to 100 mile an hour ball coming at you and uh or an 80 to 100 mile an hour ball and uh you 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 got to do certain things right and softball is totally different and uh i want to try to explain this here that's why we i call this the art of hitting and we're going to try to explain what the art of hitting means let's listen to bob for a minute and get the arm extension as you start your hip rotation your back foot pivots to make your hips rotate notice how the hands are back and now you just start to rotate your hips as fast as possible and as much as possible so that when you're done swinging your hips will be pointed towards the pitcher open wide as much hip rotation as you can generate so remember the faster your hips are the faster your hands are going to be the faster your bat speed is going to be bob does an excellent job at how to uh, get your hips and your hands into your swing uh, and, you know, Bob came to our team years ago and said that uh, I had the most similar swing to his. And if you look at uh, uh, the way that I attacked this ball standing there and, and just letting it fall to the last minute and go through quick, quick, quick. We have one out in the inning. This next set of slides are just individual shots that one of the wives took on the team. Now, this is back when I was playing a Hollis somewhere in the 60s. Now look at, at, at each different frame and how the body turns. And you're going to see we're going to have several players in here doing this. And uh, you'll see they're all basically the same. You see that, that, that turn and uh, 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 there's one that up turning, stepping out of the box. This is Larry Veeman. Uh, got, got his, actually, his wife was the lady that took these pictures. You see Larry's doing similar things with his feet, sometimes heel-toe. It's a step. Now he's, you know, heel-toe. That's what he's doing right there. And he's got his own th Now, this is Big Mike. Mike's about 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, so he doesn't have as much form as uh, 
the little guys, uh, like uh, Larry and I. And but look, he doesn't need a lot of form. He's got a lot of air leverage. He gets that thing going around. He he hit a long way. <laughs> yeah, Mike can hit it, dude. Now uh, this next one is I. Uh, I think that's Larry again. It is Larry again. Uh, yeah, that's Larry again. Um, and then we come into uh, Randy Parker's around here somewhere. My man Randy Parker hitting 19 out of 19. That's Randy Parker. Look at him. He's got that step. He's got that bat back. Also different, but they're coming around and they're watching the bat hit the ball. Critical. Look at that. And he's getting everything into it, getting his arms out in front. It's, uh, again, each one of these guys are different. Everyone's different. Remember that. move on to Ryan Harvey, one of the real uh, hammers of uh, the, the, um, the major circuit, uh, ex-major league ball player, big, strong young man. Um, you can see that his quickness is unbelievable. I got it slow motion, so it's like uh, uh, you, you can't really see the quickness, but you can see his leg work and how refined it is. And he's getting everything into it. And it's very similar to the ones you just saw prior to uh, uh, this slide. Uh, he, um, yeah, it seems like it's a lifetime with him standing here with this. this. But you see, he goes back, and you can see how he's, he's, lo he's loaded. He'd come around. He's got his front foot down, and now he's – Releasing all that right there, releasing all that, transferring everything to his swing. And when you see, if you look up, when you look up at his hands here, you're going to see that he's going to actually take that right hand and turn it over. He's going to turn that right hand over. Uh, and, and when it comes back around, you'll see that. Now, watch it comes back around. You're going to see that. No, it didn't turn that time. But watch it. It's going to turn in a minute. There it is. There it is. It went that time. Yeah, so that's why I use the overlap grip because the overlap grip makes that thing go naturally all the time. That's what I call it breaking your wrist. And and, and Ryan, uh, you know, he has massive uh, wrist pop right there and snap. Key thing with hitting, uh, you need to get your arms out to get most effective. You got you got to have your arms out, extend arms extended, and, and, and your timing's got to be on. You know. Uh, Whatever you do as the the hitter, uh, you got to be able to repeat it and be consistent and and hit it where they ain't about seventy five percent of the time. So don't forget. Let's go a little ways back. Some of you may not recognize this next guy. This is Rick Crusher Shear. Now, look at his uh, mechanics. Again, he's one of the greatest that there ever was, like the top uh, three player of all times. Let's uh, just listen to the announcer in this one. Top hand, right hand. He's looking for the grand slam to tie his score. He's like a statue. He's not even moving, Greg. Ooh. That was a ball. It must have been too flat. Here's a huge man. So again, he's one of those guys that didn't have to uh, worry about mechanics too much, but he did have uh, uh, good technique, good timing, great timing, great hitter. Now this is a slow motion shot of my son who uh, does all the right things mechanically. Uh, he's a big old boy, about 6'2", about 240. So you see, boom. Well, you, you may have to go back and look at this uh, once or twice to see the footwork and try to uh, understand what, I, what I'm saying. But my, my biggest point is the hitters uh, 
you can do what you want as long as you can focus on timing, technique, and technology, and you can reproduce whatever it is that you're doing. You know, I play with um, uh, players that are 75, 80 years old, and uh, they can uh, they can put it where they want on a dime. So it's not about how hard you hit it. It's where you hit it. Hit it where they ain't. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to hit subscribe. Thank you.